Well, welcome, 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 Nailsite family. I am excited. It is my AI live time. And my AI live, we are showing you how to use the my AI system or giving you different tips for social media. And here's the best part. We answer questions. So we stick around afterwards. We do a short demo. Uh, we give you the five minutes to go do the work yourself. So you're getting consistent also because everything's about consistency. And I'm going to show you some things about consistency that's been happening for me. And so with that, after that, we're going to have some short Q&A time. And that's a great time to ask questions. Maybe you're stuck on your social media. Maybe you want to know how to make a certain kind of post. This is a great time to do this. Now, here's the thing. If you come every single day, Monday through Friday, what you are going to find is the thing, the same thing that you're going to find like from Kathy and Brenda and a whole bunch of us here that have been doing this for a long time. We have such consistency that we get customers every single month. We're getting new signups every single month. We 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 make a post and we get reactions and so many posts that is so many reactions like we're like, okay, I've still got posts from last week that I have to comment on because there's just so many comments. So this is what's going to happen when you do this consistency consistently. And here's the key. It's consistently, right? So doing this one day a week, yeah, that's good. But if you do this every day, that's where you're going to start seeing explosive results. So I want to share my screen and I want to show you something. Now, for everybody who's new, I want to make sure that you understand what we're about ready to do. So first of all, Sandra from uh, Naples, Florida, welcome. So happy that you are here and you're brand new, excited that you're here today. So this is how it's going to work. We're going to do a short demo of the My AI system of how to do this, right? So how to make a social media post and the posts everywhere you can post it, okay? So Debbie, we're going to make this super easy and fun. We're going to have a great time today. And so it's going to be a lot of fun, Pauline. Now, here's the next thing. What we're going to do after that is we're going to set up our five-minute timer. You're going to go and do the work yourself. Because if I get you into action doing the social media post, you're going to start seeing the consistent results that I have and Kathy has and a whole bunch of us have that have been doing this for a while, okay? Now, here's the next thing. After that, we're going to come back. We're going to celebrate some of you guys. We're going to actually uh, showcase a couple of your posts. For those of you who want to share, like share the post that you made. It's going to be a lot of fun. Then after that, we're going to have our time of being able to, you know, at, answer questions. You know, sometimes you're, you're like, I don't know where I'm posting. I don't know which platform's posting to. What's, what should I talk about? You know, we can cover some of the other questions that you may not feel like you are getting, that you have clarity on, okay? So first, what I want to do, I'm going to share my screen and I want to come over here to Facebook because when I, I made a post earlier today, okay? So as I was making my post, I noticed something on my Facebook page. What I noticed was, your post is doing well. Your recent post is getting more reach than 100% of your other posts for the last past 28 days. Now, mm -hmm. here's the thing. This is a lot to do with consistency, and this is a lot to do with telling my story, right? So if we come over here to Insights, uh, I have a professional page. You can get a professional page for free if that's what you choose to do, or you can have the, the advantage of having professional page, of course, I can see these, um, I can see the impressions. So for some of you, you've been kind of wondering, well, how do I see what's working? How do I see? Well, this is how. So 714 impressions, 692 post engagement, and I still got a ton of comments on this that I haven't even answered yet. This post right here has done so great. It has really, really, um, see the details of that. It has really, really created a lot of conversations through Messenger as well. So I'm going to show you how we're doing this, and we're going to make this super, super easy. So I'm going to come back over to my page right here so we can get ready to post. And what we're going to do is we're first going to come over to our now.site. So when we come to now.site, this is the homepage that you're going to see, right? 
This is right where we begin everything. So if you're brand new, this is where you're going to be. Now, hopefully you can get all these people in the waiting room. At some point, I'm going to get Kathy or something to co-host with me to help me with the waiting room. So, okay, this is where we start. Now dot site. So we're going to create a social post. Now, there's a lot of different ways for you that are new. There's a couple of different things that you can do. You can do a caption with a suggested image. If you do that, it's pulling from the thousands of images that you have access to on the NowSite platform. You can caption your own image. This is if you have your own image that you want to have the AI create an incredible post about. Then we have short only post, short text only. Remember the vacation one that I did? This is what it's like. I was just asking everybody, hey, need some help. What's a great place to go to vacation? So, so the vote one was San Diego. So I will be going to San Diego. That's what won. Second was Italy. So we're going to plan Italy next. All right. So that, those were the winning ones. Now, the last one right here is surprise me. Give me a two in the chat. If you have ever woke up and not felt and felt uninspired of what you wanted to post on social media, that you're just like, I don't know what I want to post. I have no clue what I want to post. I don't even want to post today. <laughs> ever mm -hmm. one of those days? I have to. So that's the great thing about the surprise me. The surprise me is, hey, AI, Elizabeth AI, Kathy AI, Michael AI, Make something for me. It makes something inspirational for me, and it will do that. So, so yesterday we did a caption with a suggested image for Motivation Monday. So a lot of you called it a couple of different things. I got to see a lot of your posts. I love them. You guys are making incredible posts. So today, what I want to do is because I'm teaching a class later this evening on um, building unstoppable confidence. What I've decided to do is I want to do a live. And so most people just go live, right? I find that if I make a post telling people when I'm going live, they tend to look out for it more. So what I'm going to do is I am going to caption my image. And so I'm going to have an image that's just uh, an image about my course 90 days to unstoppable confidence now this could be that you're doing a um you know a training about something else maybe you're doing a training on a specific health area because you're in a health business great way to get people interested in your product or business is to do something on a general area that it touches on. So Kathy Mays is in a health and wellness business. Something that she very well could easily do is do a general health and, you know, uh, food thing or something like that, that would very much give her the ease of being able to, uh, I got to Somehow we got somebody unmuted. So let me mute all again. Sorry about that, guys. Let me make sure nobody can unmute so we don't have that again. Okay. And then we'll unmute at the end. So Kathy could very easily do like something about health or something like that and say she's going live about this. So my, so I'm going to use my own photo since I'm capturing my own image. And I am going to put make a post about how I'm going live at 2 p.m. Eastern time, 11 a.m. Pacific time to talk about my new course, 90 Days to Unstoppable Confidence, Break Free from the Chains that Keep You from Fear, um, Keep You from the Life and Business You Deserve. Okay, so I'm going to hit generate. Now, you can do a post about anything. You could make a post that's just, hey, I want to do something inspirational with tips of better health. I want to do a post that is uh, about my uh, financial business and the importance of having a retirement. You know, um, Steve is in a travel company, so he could say he could be doing a post about the next place that he's traveling to. Okay, so here's my post going live at 2 p.m. to share my new course, 90 Days to Unstoppable Confidence. Are you ready to break free from the chains that are holding you back from the life and business you deserve? Join me and let's uncover true potential together. Now. I like it. What if I wanted it longer or shorter? 
What if it wasn't perfect the first time? I can make it longer and I can regenerate it. I can make it shorter and regenerate it. So I don't have to accept it on the first round. Most of the time I do though, right? So exciting announcement. Come join me, a professional transformation coach on a live season at this. Now, if you don't like whatever you do, if you don't like something, you can hit generate again. I just want to make sure that you know that. Since all of you are using this, I want you to see all of the different ways that you can use this. And so we're going to go ahead and get ready to post. And with our post, we're going to get our stuff right here. And it is going to let us go. And it just takes a few minutes for it to post. Okay. I'm so excited to be to announce I'll be going live at 2 p.m. Eastern time, 11 a.m. Pacific to talk about my new course. Are you ready to break free from the chains that have been holding you back from the business you truly deserve? Join me as I share valuable insights and strategies on how to overcome fear, insecurity, and negative self-use. Let's create a life filled with confidence and purpose. Perfect. I love it. So now that I've got a post that I love, I'm going to hit get started. When I hit that get started button, first of all, when I hit this button, it's copying all of this text to my clipboard automatically. That's very important to know because I know a lot of people were getting stuck on how do I get my text. When you click this button, get started, it's copying the text to your computer's clipboard automatically. Now we're going to click post. Okay. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to add to my post for, I'm going to copy my text in. So I've got my text. I'm going to put my photo in because remember, I said that I wanted my own photo in here because I've got my own square, right? So I'm going to hit that. Perfect. So I've got my, whoops, I don't know why I did that. I've got my all of my stuff here, I've got my photo, and now I'm going to hit post. Now I'm letting everybody know I'm going live. And so people that may not be on at the exact time that I'm live are going to know that I'm going live. And so they can know to be on to watch for that live. Now, when we come over here, we can also do Instagram. And we could do LinkedIn and we can do Twitter X. So for right now, I'm only going live on Facebook. So I don't really want to put that on Instagram right now. I may put it on later if I decide to go uh, do something there. But the next thing that we're going to do now that you've seen the post is we're going to come back over here to the home page. And with that home page, we are going to go ahead. I don't want to lose my spot. We're going to come over here to the uh, home page and we're going to go ahead and create our own post. So remember, you're going to now.site. You're going to click on make a social media post and then let's make a post. Now, make a post about whatever you want. And for those of you who go live, because I know several of you do here, I've seen you. Why don't you make a post of when you're going live and see how this boosts your um, your time, you know, and the people that are live watching you. It's actually pretty incredible how well this works. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to give you the five minute timer for you to make your post. If you do not go live, that's OK. Go ahead and make a post about anything you like. And if you don't know what to post, let's do that uh, that easy. Where is my, there we go. Let's do that easy surprise post. Just click surprise me and throw that up on your wall. Let's go ahead and do that and we'll get started now. Okay. How many of you got, put in the chat if you did one, two, three, or four posts today. So if you did only one, like Facebook, put a one, put two if you did two, put three. If you put three, put four. Look at all those fours. We got some fours. We got some ones. Remember, one's a big win. Marilyn, you're going to get there. Four. And uh, look at the Apex did four in less than two minutes. Fantastic. One for Kathy. Fantastic. Three for Brenda. One for Nina. Four for Lawrence. Fantastic. All right. 
anybody want to share their post? Now, this is not the time for questions. We're going to have question time after that. But if you want to share your post, let me know and raise your hand, your digital hand, and I would love to share your post. Okay. Why don't we go over to Sam first real quick to share your post. What'd you end up posting about today, Sam? Uh-oh, hold on. We got it. We got it. Okay, there we go. All right, it's National Family Day today. So I actually did uh, several posts, uh, a generic one, and then I just posted a new one with the picture of my family in Maui. So National Family Day today. So yesterday was National Daughters Day, and I uh, posted yesterday about National Daughters Day. So that's that's my post Yay. today. I was excited. Fantastic. I absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. And what a great way to celebrate, right? Like celebratory posts really do get a lot of attention, and they do get a lot of... And remember... Your post isn't about just trying to sell somebody something automatically. Your post, whatever you're posting, is designed to create a conversation in the comments that can go to a conversation in Messenger, that can go to a conversation that eventually ends up on a FaceTime, a Zoom, something like that. Now, I prefer video over phone calls. I know a lot of people say it's getting it to a phone call. There's nothing like seeing Kathy's face. Like when Kathy and I can see each other and talk, that is much, much better than just a phone call, right? And so I always try to get it to a video. So great job, Sam. That is an awesome, awesome post. Okay, let's go over to Brenda real quick. Hey, Brenda. Good morning. I did a post on, um, it was an educational post on the five steps to better relationships. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. And what what made you decide to do that post? Um, well, because my business is building better relationships through mm -hmm. um, the personal touch. I love that. So let's go share your post real quick. I'm going to actually share my screen real quick and we're going to come over here. So Brenda, for those of you who do not know, is in a relationship company. She she her her company sends cards and builds relationship. And, and so with that, it is all about uh, helping businesses build better relationships and better retention. And so instead of just saying, hey, buy my challenge or buy this or buy that. She was talking about, here's five simple steps that can help you connect with others on a deeper level. So she has the five steps here. Now, here's what's really neat about these kinds of posts. You'll get some engagement, you'll get some comments, but a lot of times people will stop the scroll and they'll look and they may not necessarily comment, but they're seeing value in your post. So when you do posts like this, which are just giving value, it can actually stop the scroll. You may not see quite as many comments, but these kinds of posts are super, super important because you're starting to showcase the value of what you give and why people want, why you would be worth following. Great job, Brenda. Really good job on your posts. Okay, let's go over to Carl. Hey, Carl. Hey, hey. Hi, I'm honey. still How are you? <laughs> I'm having a good time here. I'm still, but I'm still, uh, you know, taking the easy, easy route, uh, the easy route of uh, surprise me. And, uh, you know, I did it in less than two minutes. So, so it's getting okay. kind of like old hat. I'm, I'm ready to move on to something else, but I did get something up really quick today. And I was so happy. I just, you know, I just wanted to stop right there and celebrate. And, and wasn't that neat that it, it I mean, think about that. You didn't know what to post. You hit the surprise me. It's quick and easy. It's like, even if you're brand new to social media, that surprise me button can really be helpful for you to be able to just get posts out quickly to start getting your profile to look like it's active. Because if somebody comes to your profile and you're not very active, it doesn't really, they, why would they gauge? You know, that's kind of what they feel like. So let's go over to Carl's post real quick. Yeah, I'm still a little iffy here on, uh, you know, getting the, getting the image in. So, uh, you know, I had to uh, uh, experiment around a little bit with that. I'm not sure I, I know exactly how that works. Well, uh, I think you did I a good go job because I got to remember images go there. <laughs> I got to go back to my downloads. That's where they're at. So. Right. 
Right, exactly. It will always be located at the place where it was downloaded to. So for some of you, you have an automatic download folder that it's always that folder. For me, I always decide where it's going. But let's look at this. Hey, everyone, I just want to take a moment and ask y'all, what's the best advice you've ever received? Whether it's about love, life, love, or chasing your dreams, I'd love to hear it. Leave a comment below and let's inspire each other. Love that. Love, love, love this post. And here's the neatest thing about this post. This post was done just surprise me. I don't know what to post. I'm going to throw some posts out there real quick, though. Let the AI do it for me. Great, great job on that. All right. Let's go over to Nina for her post next. What post did you do today, Nina? Hi, thank you. Uh, I'm doing this series on um, holiday hair, contacting me for holiday hair okay. and feeling like your best self. And uh, I got caught up on, I wasn't liking the image that it created. So okay. I got caught up on finding images that I liked. Yeah, that can, um, that can happen. I just friend requested you. So I, let's see if, I, okay, here. Oh, that's a beautiful photo. Okay. Hold on a second. Let's share yours. Okay. All right. So here's Nina's post. Get ready to rock your holiday hair. Now, we all know the holidays are coming. The leaves are changing. You can start seeing Halloween stuff coming. And we know when Halloween comes, they're already putting Christmas stuff in at the Target and everywhere else, right? Christmas stuff is coming. So we, we, we are already primped for the fact that the holidays are coming. So get ready to rock your holiday hair. Whether you're looking for a great haircut or a stylish updo, the Nina cut has got you covered. I love that, the Nina cut. <laughs> I'll give you a natural ease. Uh, and beach vibe that matches your carefree spirit. DM me on how to book your appointment and let's make your hair shine this holiday season. I love this. I love this post, Nina. I think that's fantastic. And, you know, when we think about posting Nina's in hair, okay, the same concepts are going to work for her that's going to work for Kathy, who's in health. So some other posts that these two can do also is what is asking the question, what is the biggest struggle you have with your hair? That's a great that's a, question. That's a great people, idea. I'll add yeah, that. Yeah. People love to answer questions. So for Kathy, it could be, what is the biggest struggle you have in your health? What, where is the area that is the hardest for you to get consistency in? Coach uh, Paul down here is one of the kings of consistency. A great post for him would be, where is the area that you struggle the most in consistency, stuff like that. And you can put that in the AI and the AI will whip out an amazing post for you on that subject. Okay. Any other, uh, any other, so let's go to Q&A. Anybody have any questions or need any help with anything today? It's Kathy. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Hi. Um, I love that new uh, profile picture of you. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. So my question is, um, I got a, similar to what Nina said, but one step further, for some reason where it says change photo, mm -hmm. it takes me to a variety of photos. I chose one. I clicked on yeah. it. Nothing happened. I tried to drag and drop it. It wouldn't let me do that. So how do I change the photo? Perfect. Let's go over and show you that real quick. Because okay. there's an extra button that you need in there. So give me oh. one second and we'll get that in there. Um, all right. And let's go ahead and we'll share my screen. Okay. So when we come over here and we come to social media posts, when we create with a suggested image, sometimes the image isn't exactly what we want, right? So let's do this. What is your biggest struggle with your hair? Since we were talking about that earlier, I'll just throw it in there, right? Okay. So that's going to be my post. And I'm not in here, but I want to show this for everybody. But we have to put an R in here or else it's not going to like me. Okay. Now we're going to generate. So. As we're generating, it's looking through the thousands of photos. It's looking through my AI profile of everything that I've posted, everything that I've done. It's looking through all of that. So 
and it's going to generate something that it believes is perfect. Now, a lot of times is <laughs> Blakester's struggle is he has no hair. I don't know. You, you're the one who has no struggle at all, Blakester. <laughs> I, yeah, it's like the smooth thing going on there. All right. So what's the biggest struggle with my hair? Now, obviously, changing a diaper probably doesn't work. So the AI didn't quite get the photo right, but it's perfect, right? It's perfect for this example. So biggest struggle with my hair is not changing a diaper. So we're going to change the image. Okay. Now, when you change your image, the first thing it's going to go to is my images. Now, I don't want any of the images there. The options are you can come over to AI image search and you can search something, or you could just do image search. I personally like just image search because look at that. I ended up with this great photo of hair, right? Okay. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to edit the image. Now, this is the point right here. I said edit image, but it won't add until we actually hit add down here. So it's two clicks that you have to do for uh -huh. the image, not just one. Got so it. now we're going to click add. And then as soon as the box goes away, you'll see the new image in there. And so what's the biggest struggle with my hair, you ask? Fear of chains, you know, or whatever it is that I want to say. And of course, this is using my AI profile, not Nina's. Nina's, it knows that Nina is a hairdresser, right? But that's how you're going to change the photo. Does that make um, sense, Kathy? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. All right, let's get these other people in from the waiting room. Okay. All right, Marilyn. Yeah, so I got to the post. At first, I went to the wrong place. I went to... um marketing and social media so i didn't realize create a social post was right at the top yeah. so once i did that i put surprise me and i got a good one and i don't know how to get it to facebook okay so let me show you that real quick let's go ahead and do an example of that so we'll come back over here when you're at the home page, remember, you're going to create a social post. When we do that, if you're going to use the surprise me button, it's right here. So we click on surprise me and the AI is going to look through all of my profile, knowing how who I am, how I talk, how I everything that's important to me. It's going to do that, right? And so we're. We're just going to wait for the AI for a second. Just takes a few minutes to get this done. Pretty quick and easy. And during the time you're waiting, you can call Paul up in Canada and say, hi, I'm making social media posts. And he'll wave. Hi, Paul. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> Did you, um? can you click on create a social post? Without... Hold on. Hold on. Well, I just did that. Did you see that? But yeah, I did. But there's another way to do it can you go to that one too no 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 like, no no. we only teach the ai part here I, I if we go into all the other ones that's actually cheryl's training so i'll, I'll come over here and show you you have to no, do it you don't understand here. what i mean what do you mean marilyn because at the home page i understand where you see but if you go on the left hand side to create a social post that's different um, Oh, that's different. That's different. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, that's, not, I see. that's for for the that's for the team to create something for you. You no, want that's to use under, this? That's under in marketing. I did that under social media. I did that by. Are you talking about first. this? It's the exact same thing, Marilyn. Yeah, that's the exact same thing. Yeah. So okay. if I click right here, it's the same thing. If I click here, it's the same thing. If I click under marketing, social media, that's completely different. Okay. So you did this and you got to the surprise me button, right? I did. Click on the surprise me button, just I, like you I did. did before. Okay. I'm doing that. And we're going to have to it's wait still, again because we went backwards. So just take yeah, a sorry. for the AI to do this. And we're going to go yeah. all the way through this time so we don't confuse anybody, okay? Okay, sounds good. Perfect. 
So I'll give it just a minute for this to happen. Beautiful. Okay, now here's the post that it surprised me with. Feeling inspired today, the key to achieving our dreams and goals is to break free from fear and take control of our lives. Let's step out of our comfort zones and embrace new opportunities. Hashtag dream big, hashtag go after your goals. Okay, Marilyn, what's the next step? I don't know. How about get started right here? Okay. Perfect. So let's go ahead and we're going to click that. When we do that, when you click on this button right here, the get started, it's going to automatically clip to your clipboard on your computer. Yeah. So all of this is getting post, getting put onto your computer and it's going to allow you to download the image. Okay. So once you have that image, the image is going to download where your downloads are always at or wherever you decide to download the picture. We don't have control over that. Only you and your computer have control over that part, but it will download the picture. Now okay. we're going to click post. When we do, you know how to make a post on social media. We just go here. We're going to paste what it is that it copied to our clipboard. We're going to put our photo in and then you will have your post. I click so post and nothing's happening. Do you have text in your post? No. Okay, so you want to copy the text into your post. So it, it's, it's I clicked on post and it's still on that same uh, um, screen. Are you right here and it's clicking yes. post right here? Yes, and it's not doing anything. Are you on your computer? Yes. Okay, so when you click it post, just, it should open up your Facebook. Is it not opening up your Facebook? Uh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. And then you click it's, to create a post like you normally do and then just and then just copy the text in there. Oh, I copy the text in there. Yep. Okay, and how do I put the image in there? You click the little green button that says photo video that's right here. Okay. And, and once I did that, that it will say add photos and videos and you click on that and then you choose the photo that you want to put in. Okay, so it's in my downloads. Oh, I see. Oh, just a sec. So I don't know how to get it from my download to in the post. You have to go into your downloads, choose the photo, click on it, and click, you know, down, whether you're on Windows or uh, you, you've you posted a photo on your, on your social media before in some way, right? Yeah. Okay, so just, that's all you have to do is just find the photo like you normally would and just click it to upload it. Same way that you normally would. The only difference is, is that it saved a photo on your computer. Okay. So go ahead and work on that right now, Marilyn. I'm going to try to answer a couple of questions while you're okay, working. I got on my that. photo. So I, you, what was that? I got my photo. Okay. So go ahead and click post. Or say I don't have the I don't have the um caption. Now, how do I get the caption off the how do I get the caption off the now site site? It was done automatically. Just paste like you normally would paste into here. How do you paste? Are you on a Mac or are you on Windows? I'm on a Mac. So it is Command V. Okay, I got it. Now click post. Cool. Done. Thank you. You are welcome. Yay. Yay. That's your first post, right? Yep. Yay. She did it. That's right. awesome. Thank you. Great, great job, Marilyn. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. You're going to be a social media machine now. All right. Let's go over to Raymond. Hi, Raymond.
Hi. Uh... Oh, Elizabeth. I forgot your name there for a minute. Aww. <laughs> Hi, Richard. Uh, Hi, Raymond. Not Richard, Raymond. Hi. I, I was having this same problem. Huh? Can you hear me? Yep, I sure can. Okay, I was having the same problem she was having, but I didn't solve it the way you solved it. I just went to Facebook and 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 pasted it. But I have to try what you just did. Okay, but yeah. My problem is I have this friend who I'm trying to send a message to or my my um you know, to invite him to sign up. Um and I think I'm overcomplicating the problem. Um, so, so, so what happened is I oh, added. Hold on, to, hold on, hold, hold on a second, Raymond. Are, 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 is this a my AI question or? A my AI? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, well, I'm not sure because. Are, I, are you asking an affiliate question? I got lost in what you were asking. Can you repeat what you were saying? Okay. I'm trying to send. Uh, <clears throat> my my um my affiliate my affiliate affiliate link yeah to, to a friend of mine so perfect uh, that, is that okay yeah I'm, yeah it's okay i just i was lost there for a minute i it, as soon as you said link and trying to send i was like uh oh i think i lost yeah. something there so let me show you how to do that real quick okay okay so we're going to come over here and we're going to come over to now site dot now dot site everyone right okay we're going to come over here to now everybody see where it says ea down at the bottom left mm -hmm. so right above it is a little dollar sign this is for all your affiliate stuff so i'm going to click on get started now when i click on get started i'm going to see two links that have my affiliate info in it that I can share. I can either share the My AI link with, if I just want to tell them about My AI, how they can have an AI of themselves that's gonna help them with social media, I can do this link right here, or I could do your Now Site link, which is my the whole Now Site program. I can share this link. And then the at last option, Raymond, is right down here with a sample message. And that's, I can click the sample message and it just gives me the whole thing. So I have these options here. So if you wanna share just about the My AI, how cool it is, how it's helping you with your social media, you do the top one. If you wanna share about the whole system, you could do the other one. And then you could also do the sample message as well. But the place you find that is, is right by the dollar sign and at get started does that make sense raymond that makes absolutely sense thank you so much now yeah. the, the the one with the message in it does the same thing as the second link up top except it I, just that, gives you the message yes okay. that is correct thank you so much you are angel in disguise yay that makes <laughs> me so happy thank you raymond all right all right let's go over to tim real quick hi tim Good morning, Elizabeth. So I have what I hope is a simple question. Okay. I've uh, always done pretty good with engagement on Facebook. Great. So with my AI, I've now incorporated uh, LinkedIn and Instagram. Yeah. Right. So I'll be posting on the three of those daily. Now, my question is around needing tips on how I can transition the likes and comments from either platform into you know discussion on messenger or its equivalent on the other platforms absolutely so we we think that this only happens with uh with comments so let me go back over to social media real quick and then we can show you some things super fast and then i'm going to have to let this slide go because or this zoom go because i know cheryl's going to need it here shortly so let's go over to my Facebook and we'll just pick one of the things. So let's leave page. Okay. So um, I've only got one here. Okay. So I have all these likes. Okay. I'll just do it right here. So I have all these likes right here and then I have comments. Now, most people think you just do comments over to Messenger. 
That's actually not correct. Um, there are a lot of times that I will actually like, let me come over here. Okay. So here's the throwback Thursday one that I did from last week. And when I did this post, let me shrink it down a little bit so we can see the whole post. So when we did the post or when I did the post, this one just went ballistic, right? It was my before and after pictures of my transformation for my weight loss. So you think that you only message people when they put a comment. That's not true. There's many people here when I did right over here, the 99 people who just liked it, that I actually messaged and said, thank you so much for your support in liking that post. It was, you know, it, that was really a big thing for me to post this. And it just meant so much to me that you said that you did that. And I did that with, I, I, I actually did that with Jordan Adler for any of you guys who know that Jordan Adler liked one of my posts and I did it with him and we ended up in a great conversation. So, um, so what I do for, for comments in themselves is I will actually comment here and then I will message them and thank them for their comment. If it's somebody, and I don't do this with every single person. And I'm going to tell you why I get a ton of comments on my posts already. And if I did that for every single person, it would just get too many messages, right? I've already got a ton of follow-ups to do. I'm already in conversations because I've been doing this for a very long time. But what I will do is that if there's somebody here that it's like, oh, I go and look at their profile and then I'm like, oh, this is somebody I would genuinely want to connect with. This is somebody that I think we might have something in common. I would like to get to know this person more. Maybe, you know, maybe it's about food because she's got a drill and, and a pumpkin. That has to be known, right? If somebody has a drill and a pumpkin, I want to know them. So I can send them a message, thank them for their comment on my post, and then start the conversation there. When the conversation is going through Messenger, I usually do things like finding out what they do, what they like, how long they've been in their business or how long they've been doing whatever. And then I, if it's the conversation's great and I feel like, and I feel like that there's a connection there that could move to my business or something else that I can help them with or anything else, what I will do is I will go ahead and I will, um, and I will ask, Hey, you know, can we do a coffee? Can we do a coffee zoom? And most of the time it's a coffee zoom. Um, sometimes they'll say, I, I don't really like zoom. I'll say, Oh, do you have FaceTime? Let's do FaceTime then. Um, so that's what I like to do personally works really well for me. So just depending on where you're at, but I like to do it with not only comments, I like to do it with likes, but it also depends on, you know, looking at the person's profile. If it's somebody I want to engage with, does that help at all, Tim? Yes, it does. It makes a lot yeah. of sense. Good. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. I'm going to take one more question or do, I'm going to, if it's quick as possible, I got to give this over to Cheryl because we're getting ready for uh, the next Zoom. So Ted, what's your question today? Yeah. Hey, listen, thanks, Elizabeth, uh, for taking my question. Uh, just quickly, and this has to do with um, images. So when I do like an AI image and I'll put in uh, the message, I like the message and all of a sudden it'll generate a uh, picture. It almost seems like the pictures they generate doesn't really relate to the message. That's possible. Um, personally, like, what I like to do is image search and then just say what I, it right. is that I'm looking for. And yeah, and, and I've done that. And it's like, it keeps uh, nothing wrong with yoga, but I'll do something like, uh, you know, like today was Tenacity Tuesday. Yeah. You know, like your choose day, you know, what do you choose to do today type right. of thing? And it'll pull up everything in yoga and I'll say, and I'll say, okay, well, I don't want to do, you know, do something else. And I'll still pick up things that are, really don't relate to the subject matter. Yeah. So I'm having an issue with that. Yeah. It is in beta. So it's not quite perfect with the images yet. Um, I would personally, I would recommend just go to image search in there and then just type in what kind of image you're looking for. That will end up getting resolved as the beta co goes from beta into full force, but they've still got a little hiccups in there. Yeah. So, I mean, that's my big, in terms of doing the message, I, I love uh, what, what we have going on here. 
but I, I, it seems like I've taken an orderly amount of time looking for pictures. So, <laughs> well, as I said, you can fix that problem super quick by being a solutions person and just do the image search until it's fixed. It's going to be the easiest way to get out of that problem. Yeah. And I just saw Kathy Foley. Kathy, thank you for mentioning that. But I don't have yoga in my uh, on my platform anywhere. It just pops up. I don't know why. <laughs> well, as I anyway, said, thank just you. do image search, and that'll be your easiest way to solve the problem. All righty. And that will Thanks. definitely be resolved. Hey, you're welcome, Ted. All right. I'm trying to hurry. Sorry for rushing you guys, but I want to try to get as many questions, but I got to get the Zoom turned over too. Let's go over to the Apex real quick. Okay, great. Um, you you mentioned having going back and answering uh, um, comments. What is your ratio for that? What do you mean? Um, to basically keep the algorithm, keep the uh, oh, perfect to the top yep. of the algorithm. Yep, I I always um yeah that no that makes perfect sense. That's a great question, by the way. Okay, so when somebody posts on your comment on your post immediately immediately go back and comment on that one okay the uh -huh. next post after that or the next comments after that though we go slower to the point of i will wait a couple of hours and then comment on one wait a couple of hours comment on one and keep it going like that i do that because it continues to throw it back into the news feed and right. then i continue to get more comments so then i'll get like 40 50 60 80 90 100 comments on posts um that's the way I personally do that, do that. And I learned that from Ray Higdon. That was the way he taught me how to do it. Okay. All right. Great, great question, Thank Apex. I want to make Thank sure you. to try to get to the rest of these questions. Thanks so much for that. Let's go over to Yvonne real quick. We're going to have to make Yvonne the very last one. Marilyn, I'm happy to answer your question tomorrow if it's going to, uh, well, let, we'll give it a shot. Let, let's give it a shot. Okay. Yvonne, what was your question? My question really is not with a social post, but with an email post. I have a quick question. That, stay right here. Cheryl's going to be on in five minutes, and she's the expert in an email post. Okay. So perfect. Thank that you. worked out great. Okay. Marilyn, what's your question? My question is, is contact mapping and now site joined? Yes. So a, contact mapping ha was purchased or uh now site acquired contact mapping and so our technology is supposed to be coming into the now site platform and they will make an announcement when that happens that's what i was wondering Perfect. thank you you're welcome okay may i ask, may I ask the last question uh just, okay just only, just only the other uh, meeting it, do we have to wait um, at what time it is it the starts in four minutes perfect yeah perfect. yeah it starts in four minutes that's why i'm trying to give cheryl over her zoom stick around <laughs> though um i'm gonna drop this on facebook so the recordings are correct and then drop the recording here stick around though cheryl is going to be on here in a few minutes for the next meeting and that is the ask uh ask a meeting where you can actually see the demos you can see all of the system if you have a question about the email program she's an expert in that so that's the best place for that thank you apex for that and then again for social media if you're commenting comment on those first posts immediately those first comments immediately and then stagger them out so you get the most bang for your buck have a wonderful day you guys remember to come back tomorrow we'll have tons of more social media thank questions you. and things for you thank you so much Love y'all. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.